Hey there, here we are again, and I'm with my little big brother, Jordan, <laughs> and somehow I got roped into resining his Christmas present for our mom. <laughs> What do we have here, George? Uh, this is a live edge piece of wood. It's hard maple, um, really nice grain to it. Not really sure what this piece is yet. It might be like a really large charcuterie board. Live edge wood is like super hot right now. Can you just explain what live edge wood is? You cut down a tree and you cut the length. You get a beautiful vertical grain and yeah. it's just a little more natural, which I think is what people are after when they go after live edge wood, right? When we apply the resin over top, it's going to create a nice solid surface. And if you did want to put food on it, it is food safe. So yeah, this could be just a giant charcuterie board if you really wanted it to be. Yeah. <laughs> It's very durable. So first step here, we are working in a workspace where, you know, we, this is set up for resin. We've got a tabletop that's big enough and we've got a shower curtain that we've taped down to the tabletop so that we can give her hell. This piece of live edge wood is propped up here on some Lego pieces. We are gonna resin over the entire surface, have it come over the edge and it's gonna collect drips underneath. Some people actually like to tape off the bottom so that they can just pull the tape off and pull the drips off with it. Jordan's gonna be sanding this piece anyways, so any little drips of resin that collect underneath, no big deal. We're gonna just sand them off with a belt sander and it'll be good as new. It's a lot quicker, easier. Now that we've prepped our area, all we gotta do is mix up the art resin and give her. Three minutes, right? Three minutes. So the great thing about art resin is it's non-toxic when used as directed. That means we don't have to wear masks or anything like that, but we do have to wear gloves because uh, it's not so good if, it, if you get it on your skin. Yeah, it's really sticky. It's super sticky. And hard to open. Use those muscles. How do you open it? Maybe the lids were put on the wrong ones. No. Easy. <laughs> Give me another hundred. So for this project, we're gonna do four cups total. So we'll do two cups plus two cups, and we'll mix them into this bigger mixing jug. Two cups. Oh, perfect. You gotta mix well in order to catalyze the material. Right, Jordan? To catalyze it, right. What happens if you don't mix well, Jordan? Um. If you don't mix well from the get-go, you're gonna wind up with sticky resin, and nobody wants that for their Christmas present. No. Getting everything out there. And as you stir, scraping the sides of this mixing container, scraping the bottom, scraping, scraping, and stirring, 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 so that that chemical reaction can happen thoroughly throughout. That's why we say you gotta mix for three minutes. What do you think your mom's reaction is gonna be? Oh! Uh, oh, what is it? That's what it's gonna be. Okay, I think that's three minutes. <laughs> Next step. Four. Give her. <laughs> now you gotta pour, just pull it as you see fit. So pull it out to the edge, little by little. You have about 45 minutes to do this before it starts to cure, so plenty of time to play around. I just love how it really makes the grain pop like almost instantly. Mm. Let's take our gloved hands and just kind of run it along the edge and get a nice super thin layer all along the live edge. Just enough to basically make it nice and shiny and make it look like the top is. Sometimes with wood, you can run into some bubbling issues because this is a live piece of nature. So it can off gas and where does it go once resin's on top? Well, it off gases into the resin. We're obviously gonna use a torch and take out almost all the bubbles we see here and hope that it doesn't off gas too much. If we need to, we can always sand the top layer down and apply another coat over top. Anything you do with resin, if you have a result that, that's less than desirable, it's never ruined. It's always fixable just by sanding down and reapplying a second coat. So that's one reassuring thing and something that's good to know. Okay, gloves off. Time for the badass torch. Spark it! Woo! So cool. This is for like mega flambés. For your mega charcuterie board. It looks sick. It looks amazing. Yeah. Looks awesome. No, mom's gonna like it, whatever she turns it into. Yeah. Cover it up. Wait till tomorrow. Good. Awesome. Awesome. Should we like high five or something? <laughs> really 
really nice. Yeah. Oh, when I, when I went to the woodshed and got the wood Beautiful. for dousing. So that could be like a giant charcuterie board that could go. <laughs> A giant jacuzzi board. No, that would, no, that would be really nice to like serve. Like, yeah, just have everything on it. Yeah, that's on beautiful. It. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Guys. Okay.